a little bit of an introduction of kind of how we get into this position. But we're going to look at sprawl top. So Diego's on hands and knees. So he's already shot in. I've sprawled, I've got my legs back. Okay, once I get into this position, I'm not looking to go hip on hip, but I want to create a little bit of an angle. Okay, so I'm going to go to a slight angle here. Now, here there is a risk that it catches this leg. Okay, so as long as I'm conscious of that, there are things that I can set up if he does come around and start grabbing this leg. Okay, but for now, I just want to get a slight angle, and similar to what we are doing on Tuesday, I'm going to shoot this arm all the way through so the thumb comes up towards the side of the ear. Okay, from this position we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to go here, and then I'm going to pinch my elbows together. Okay, from here, this is where I then pull my elbow up. To then start going into the same entry that we were looking at on Tuesday for the darts position. Okay. If you, if you weren't here for the darts, don't worry, we're going to recap it, but let's just look at getting into the position. So, number one, stop the shot. Number two, I always like to have the head controlled, just a slight hand. Okay. Three, shoot the hands through, connect the hands, pinch the elbows together. And then four is just to turn them onto the side. So, push. Pull, bring them onto the side. You guys who are quite comfortable with the dash, start sliding through and attacking through your dash. You guys who are not sure at the moment, just focus on getting them on the side so we can start into a dash position. Does that make sense? Yeah, here we go. One, two, three. 